Bismillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma ba' Ibadah worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is built upon two pillars two foundations which we should all know as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the first one is a class that we have sincerity to Allah as Allah says in the Quran وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَى لِيَعْبُدُ اللَّهُ مُخْلِسِينَ اللَّهُ دِينَ That Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala says in the Quran she said, He says And I have not ordered them except Speaking about the communities before Except to worship me alone You know, to worship Allah alone إِلَى لِيَعْبُدُ اللَّهُ مُخْلِسِينَ With ikhlas, with sincerity Sincerely, the worship belongs to Allah And the second pillar and also, which is, it's also substantiated in the Sunnah where the Prophet ﷺ said, Verily, actions are tied to the intentions. So, this lets us know that our worship should be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah forgive us of our many shortcomings and accept our good deeds, especially this holy month of Ramadan. The second pillar is mutabah is that you're following the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam whatever deed that you're doing any deed which has to do with worship any which way you're trying to come closer to your Lord Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala it should be built upon those two pillars as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnata khulafa rashideen it's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided uh, the four rightly guided Khalifat meaning Abu Bakr or Omar or Uthman or Ali and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَعَطِيُوا اللَّهُ وَعَطِيُوا رُسُولُ And follow Allah and follow His Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam So that lets us know that when we fast when we pray when we supplicate when we uh, do when we make hajj or umrah or any anything in which we want to come closer to Allah, it is restricted by those two uh, conditions, or it must be built upon those two uh, pillars. And as we know, a pillar or columns is like a foundation. It, it does the work of a foundation. You know, it supports something. So that is what supports your ibadah. That's what your ibadah, your worship, is built upon. Those two incredibly important principles which were established by the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. So ask yourself any time, any act of worship that you're trying to do, question your your intention. Make sure it's for Allah. Make sure it's to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you tawakkul, tawakkul ala Allah. So if you put your trust, you put your trust in Allah. If you pray, pray to Allah. If you supplicate, you supplicate to Allah. Not to the graves, not to the dead, not to Sayyid Bedawi, not to Sayyid Abdul Qadr Jailani or, or Tijani or anyone other than that. But rather, your supplication is to Allah. So all ibadah goes to Allah. And those are very briefly the two pillars of worship. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.